So today we will discuss OAuth 2.0 Web Server Flow for web application. Okay. So first I will explain in brief uh, what are the steps involved in web server flow. Okay. Then I will show you the demo. But if you want a code, means how I have connected one or to the another or using web server flow, then you can check out my blog, which is given in the description. Okay. And here I will be explaining all the steps in brief. Okay. So let's go through that. So I will make an authorization code first. Uh, I request for an authorization code. Okay. Here I will, uh, you know, use this endpoint, which is login dot salesforce dot com slash services slash auth to slash authorize. Okay. But if the org is sandbox, then I will be using test dot salesforce dot com instead of login dot salesforce dot com. Okay. Then I will be, you know, uh, passing these uh, parameters client ID, redirect URI, and response type. So client ID is actually your client ID from the connected app, which I will be explaining in the end. Okay, how I created a connected app while giving the demo and redirect URI is just a you know callback URL where your Salesforce will pass the authorization code and response type is code that is a keyword fix. Okay, don't touch this word. It it is always fix that is code to make an authorization code request. Okay. So once you make that request, uh, so Salesforce, you know, redirects you to this page where you just enter your log uh, credentials. Once you enter your credentials, you are, uh, you need to click on allow. Okay. Also, so that uh, Salesforce can authorize you. Once you click on allow, Salesforce, you know, will pass code, authorization code in the code parameter. Okay. So it will pass to the connected back URL. Okay? So on the connector you are connected callback URL, you can pass this code. Okay. So now using that authorization code, we will make a request for make and request for the access token. Here endpoint will be you know login.salesforce.com slash services slash auth to slash token. Okay. Same uh, if that uh, sandbox is if you are using sandbox, then URL will be test.salesforce.com. Okay. And in the body, you will be passing these parameters: brand type, code, client ID, client secret, and redirect query. Actually, these are the required parameter, but you can pass any other parameters also. Okay, which you can find in the Salesforce documentation. So here, uh, here current type is fixed. That is authorization code, and code is your authorization code which you just got from the previous tab. Client ID and client secret is the you know uh, that is. Uh, you can get from the connected app okay and redirect URI is just a callback where you want to redirect uh, uh, your request okay once you get the access token so now when Salesforce uh, you know uh, 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 provide you the access token so Salesforce provide in this format Access token, signature, scope, ID token, instance, URL, ID token, type, issue that. So here we will be using these two parameters, instance URL and access token to make further request. Let's say if you want to access any request or create or update any record. Okay. So you will be using access token and instance URL from these. Okay. Now I will be giving you demo. How can you, you know, uh, create a contact. Okay. In uh, one Salesforce work from another Salesforce view using this web server flow. So this is the demo. Here I am using the two work. Okay. So these are the domain. So from Sandeep Company two, I will be making a call web server flow request. Okay. Yeah. So using this request, I will be creating contact in PRC York. Okay. So uh, 